Yo, what is good, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day full of only positive vibes. Today is the brand new season 13 coming out, and we're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything brand new. So let's go ahead and just straight on hop into the game. Let's go ahead and take a look at what might be brand new. The Grinch Havoc, we already had that. 12 Days of Christmas might be something new. Before we check out the Battle Pass, I'm sure you guys are excited for that. Let's go ahead and check out the event to see if there's anything new. Uh, there is the Tracing Crumbs. This should have came out on Saturday. Again, M16 snowboard snowbird and then you can get a drh snow blind if you play holiday raid playlist and kill confirm collect cookies check new seasonal that's the one that we want to check out as of now there is nothing really too crazy there is a um price holiday that you can get uh it's basically a calling card nothing crazy you can get a na skin or an na if you haven't unlocked the na you can get it like this Let's check the daily login. Nothing too crazy. This was out already on Sunday. It's not that amazing. So event-wise, we'll probably get some new stuff on Thursday. We'll go ahead and take a look at this. I've already done it. I'm not going to go ahead and go too ham on that. But we do have a... a what is this? An Arctic Blizzard event thing. You get an AK-117 Moonstone. You get a Rune Arctic Blizzard. You get a few things for $13.99. Is there more stuff here? Doesn't look like it. We'll check the store. Typically speaking, there's always a new crate, bundles, uh, credit stop. You guys can see also a new design in the game. Pretty sick. In my opinion, this one came out. Whoa! Whoa! Arctic Cyberline is available. That's kind of cool, kind of neat. Uh, the color scheme is kind of you know, very, very purpley and very, like, like glowy. But uh, free skin, always nice to have. We got the ghosted one. I think that was already there. We have the RUS strafing run that was already there. Uh, I believe you have the so Locust Cyberline. I know, I don't know if this is new or not. I'm pretty sure it is. I could be wrong. You guys can correct me. But Locust Scope apparently got a little nerf. We got a few things here. We got a KN Upper Hand, the Cordite. We can get the app now. We get the Bug Free. It was already there before. Co-Pilot. Um, I don't think anything else here is really new for say. But it is what we have here. There is a recharge bonus. It's not, I don't know where you can find it. But if you purchase, I don't know exactly what the bonus is. But I purchased 8,000 or the max amount. And I got an extra 1,800. So that was kind of cool. We have the new camos, maybe bundles. Check the new bundles potentially out here. Doesn't look like we have any new bundles available right now. But I expect on Thursday to have some new stuff. And crates. We do have a few new crates here available. The Avalanche crate which i believe is what you're gonna get if you rank up uh so nothing too crazy this is pretty ugly i'm gonna be real with you guys these are pretty ugly so i'm not gonna be vibing too much with that and uh yeah we got the the tanks and some some wingsuit that's kind of cool i'm not gonna lie that wingsuit is pretty sick everything else is a major met to me nothing else here and then if we check featured nothing crazy battle pass before we hop into battle pass check our rank stuff i want to skip this because honestly it doesn't really matter We'll be able to check what you can get from the rank rewards. I really wish I could skip this, but it's okay. We'll see that little Semtex, a little Gravity Spike onto a Kimmel Fenix. Honestly, it got nerfed, but I don't understand why they give it a Kimmel Fenix. It looks okay, to be honest with you guys, but you can get a Kimmel Fenix. We did finish Legendary in both a BR and Multiplayer. So we should be able to check what we can get from both of these. Then we're going to do the battle pass right after. Check the rank award. You guys will see it is the crate that you can get. Oh, actually, it's a going dark crate. That's perfect. I'd much rather have going dark crates than the not going dark crates. Starting off with the winter wood, we have a Razorback. We have an FHJ. We have, what is this? A chopper. Actually, a lot of good skins. If you're just trying to rank up HVK, a KRM. Got going dark crate trophy system skin. We have an ARG or AGR skin, not bad at all. You get actually a um, season eight uh, charm. I like that. We got the Fenix, which probably comes with the Akimbo Fenix. It doesn't come with the Akimbos. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna be real with you guys that it shows Akimbo, but it doesn't have it. And then you got the frame. Nothing insane here. Let's check out the battle royale. Obviously, the cool thing is gonna be the axe i believe a lot of people do love axe skins a lot of vehicle skins which is always nice and a lot of going dark crates which will obviously say and obviously the reznov winter wood actually looks a lot better than i expected the pants scheme i love that if we can get an outfit with that same pants scheme would be absolutely insane and we get a banner always nice but the main thing we are here to look at it is going to be the battle pass actually let me see if i have anything i can claim here Yep, yeah, just all my rank reward, which I'm not going to claim right now. There is no need to. I feel like I'm going to be missing something. Oh, I've hit the new button. They might show some other stuff here. 
Uh, nothing here. Nothing here. All right, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and take a look at this. Bang, Cold War, Winter War. Look at that. D Ghost Dark Vision, nice. We can get that for free. We're not gonna go ahead and unlock everything. I, I play enough the game to not need to unlock everything, especially with grinding the, that's park. That's kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Mana War skin. We're just gonna skip it. We're just gonna go through it. That does not look like park. I thought that was a female skin. This is a female park. That could be a female park. Uh, yeah, could be a female park or park undercover. I know a lot of people are simping on her slash him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right, all right. We're going to unlock the battle pass for sure. We're going to unlock until we get the new gun. We're going to probably try out and see how it looks. I don't know if we're going to do a rank game for sure, but I for sure feel like I'm going to get the gold skin. We'll upload that video tomorrow to give you guys some more in-depth footage of that. But let's go ahead and take our battle pass a little more in-depth. You unlock the Ghost Dark Vision. Very nice skin. You get the Man of War Pack Leader. Very, very nice skin. Uh, some few other stuff. A lot of cool Cold War kind of vibe. Let's see what you get for free. You get a free chopper. You get another chopper in quotation mark we do have park safe house i believe it's dude i'm gonna be real with you guys i believe it is a dude you don't like the rus that is sick that is a nice and beautiful skin you get an emote where's the free gun at level 21 i'm assuming yep level 21 peacekeeper we're gonna be grinding gold um doesn't really matter if we go for the legendary skin right off the bat you do get it for free for level 21 we'll get this golem skin siberia eventually you get this nice beautiful by 15 skin Nice, I love my epic BY-15. I think I found a build. We're all, we actually got the diamond skin, so there's literally no reason for me to use any other skin than that. We do have the GKS. Oh, we got a free QQ9 skin, and then at the end, you get the uh, Adler Mountain, and we got a Peacekeeper Blast Off. So let's go ahead and just unlock the base uh, version of this. Let's go ahead and click, where do I have to click again? Buy premium pass. We will buy this, get the one to 12, because it is a better deal than buying it individually. And then, we will upgrade to level uh, 12. I, I'm curious to see if I actually have new ways to get extra points right off the bat. Ghost Dark Vision, Man of War, we don't really care too much about that. But we will also take a look at potentially maybe if we can get some extra points somewhere. That RUS skin looks absolutely sick. Park Safe House. It is definitely a female skin, is it not? Yeah, it's definitely a female skin or undercover female. Up to you guys to decide. Ooh, actually, ice pickaxe. Did not know that was a thing there. Let's just let's we're gonna, we're gonna purchase levels in a second. But I want to see if there's some points I can get here. Maybe daily missions that I can claim. So daily missions you can actually claim. Uh, can I do it right now? Can I somehow get enough points? Um, I think we can actually. Okay, so if I go and battle pass, right, get tears. If I buy, let's say hypothetically speaking. All right, let's let's say I buy these. Okay, does that count as giving me some points? Will it count as dailies, right? Because then if I just count as daily, then can I get those XP cards? Can I low-key get some of the XP? Maybe. Maybe I can't. Did it count, though? I don't think it did. Unfortunately, we can play one rank game, play with friends, send XP cards, use XP cards. Ultimately, we won't be able to use that, so we're just going to go ahead and get the final two tiers and get our free Peacekeeper skin, which I think if we level it up to the max, we'll automatically unlock Damascus. Uh, we get the HBR snow stream and the H. Oh, what's it called? The uh, oh wait, let's not buy more. We do not need to buy more. We do not need to buy more. We're pretty good with what we spent, so we should be able to go equip our loadout. We'll just put it on the last one because I don't think we'll be grinding that anytime. Uh, not a DLQ. Maybe later on a DLQ, but it's an assault rifle, I believe. So we're gonna level up this assault rifle to the max, and then you can take a quick look at the Damascus skin while we're at it. Did not get the gold, but the gold one will unlock at the same time as diamond and make that a video. You guys will be able to unlock this. We're gonna all in this bad boy. And with that, we should have unlocked the platinum as well as the Damascus skin. So the diamond one, actually, we've already talked about it, looks absolutely fantastic. The gold one is pretty clean. The gold and diamond is very like similar when it comes to style. And you get the Damascus skin, which we will equip since we have it. We don't need to unlock these, but we will probably grind it tomorrow. Try to get this to diamond as well as gold, first of all. So let's go ahead and find a build that I personally think that we should be doing. We have already taken a look at this before, and it does seem that um, this was pretty OP. 
Like some of these were pretty OP. I believe there was a barrel that was really good, the rapid fire barrel. Yep. 40% damage range nerf though. Increasing damage, so it turns it into a crazy SMG. We'll figure out how that feels, but there's a few other things that could be really good. Like a will, like all of these look insane. So I think that that perk might be the wave here. Let's see if there's anything else we want to add here. Tough speed up after respawning. We're going to go ahead and just build it like an SMG that we would typically do. I think the double stack mag, just a beautiful, especially since you're really not. <laughs> this looks so bad. This looks so bad. Yeah, it's a little different. You can actually get the rust, uh, rubber, rub, rusto grip tape. So much different stuff here that it's like almost completely different. Like this is completely different from everything else that we typically have. So I don't know. Even even some of these stuff is kind of crazy. Like that's kind of crazy. Sprint and speed. You got the regular foregrip. Thirty percent. Thirty percent horizontal recoil. I don't know how much horizontal recoil this possibly could have, but like some of these magazines are just insane. Plus three movement and plus four ADS movement speed. We're just gonna go max movement on this, right? Honestly, the mobility being at 80, this could could possibly be a lot faster, but this is honestly, basically what we did was a fastest ADS close range build. It looks ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This gun looks absolutely ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the damage of this. So the thing about this is that the damage is a four tap close range. It does deal pretty insane damage close range. So I don't know if you can potentially boost that range. That Rico is kind of wonky. Not gonna lie to you guys. You guys can see that it does have pretty crazy horizontal recoil, but the mobility is really good. The ADS speed is really good. I don't even think you need that much ADS. So I might, obviously, as we're going to be grinding it to gold, we'll be able to find a good build that I like with this build. But if you're just going straight up close range fights, it's going to, it's insane. Like close range three tap and then it shoots pretty fast. Yeah. Yeah, it does have a pretty crazy kick, as you guys can see. Yeah, it's pretty sporadic, and the ADS spread accuracy is, is pretty insane, too. Like, we can probably put that 30% horizontal recoil, but other than that, it's pretty insane. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the skin. Skin looks really, really nice, beautiful. We're going to hit the reload button. Uh, we're just going to shoot real quick. Let's just hit that shoot button. Nice animation there. Reload it real quick. Yeah, looks really nice, honestly. Hit that reload one more time. Beautiful, beautiful skin. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below what you guys think so far about this season. I know they changed a few things, but I honestly like it. The only thing I'm not a huge fan of the, is the drop shot. They just need to remove the drop shot button, in my opinion. When you people drop shot, it just instantly teleports them to the ground, which I hate. It is a lot harder for them to get back up, but honestly, everything else about battle pass is pretty sick. The Peacekeeper is going to be a little bit OP, in my opinion, but let me know what you guys think. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it!